Let's talk about surviving the next set of band music. And there's a possibility that this can happen at any time. Let's talk about surviving Diddy. Now, you guys know that recently, you know, maybe not as recently, but we've talked on this show since I've had this show about not playing R. Kelly after he was convicted, um, you know, questionable playing some Michael Jackson and stuff like that, but we got over it. What about the next guy in line for bad music? Are we looking at a possible ban of bad boy? Are we looking at a possible ban of anything that's related to Sean Combs? Are we looking at a Diddy ban? If you don't know, you might be under a rock somewhere, but Diddy has been accused recently of a lot of craziness, a lot of craziness. I'm not even going to go into it. There's so much stuff on YouTube. You can see if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it, it posed the question to me, like as these artists start to do some of this crazy stuff or stuff starts to come out from the shadows of stuff that they've been doing that we've had no idea that they do. Are we going to get in trouble for playing some of the music? Let me tell you a couple of the songs that would be banned that maybe you play right now. Hypnotized by Notorious P. Um, more money, more problems. P Diddy and the family. Um, I mean, these are just, just a couple of songs that may be affected and stuff by this. It, I mean, it just depends on where you are, especially my New York people when you're playing in a club or playing in, I mean, most people don't care, but some people may say, don't, you know, they're boycotting his music. When, <laughs> what are we going to do with all this bad boy music? What are we going to do with all this, just tons of music? What about when we do mixes? Are we going to leave him out? You know, ever since R. Kelly was banned and stuff, I haven't heard a DJ mix and put R. Kelly into their mix in quite some time. And without the DJ, who who's keeping those records alive? Because the radio station is not keeping them alive. So the DJ was the last one to keep music like that, like that alive. I mean, I listened to Sirius Satellite Radio. I listen to Rock the Bells. I listen to uh, 90s um, hip-hop or 90s R&B and stuff like that. No R. Kelly. None. So with Diddy right there behind R. Kelly as far as being accused and not being convicted or anything yet, if he is convicted, we lose all that bad boy music? All of that's gone? Because one thing I could tell you is if it's out of sight, it's definitely out of your mind. The reason that we take music and play it as stuff as DJs is because we usually hear it somewhere. We're in a store and something reminds us of it. Somebody singing it. Something, but if there's not something that constantly reminds you of it, it goes on the back burner. You lose years and years and years of music when these guys mess up the way that they do and so i asked the question this is just me asking the question this has nothing to do with anybody else but if diddy is convicted of anything if he goes down for any of this stuff are you banning diddy from your playlist are you taking him out of your rotation and this goes for club djs this goes for mobile DJs. This goes for radio DJs because I already know that radio is definitely they they're definitely pulling the plug on him. If <laughs> if if he's convicted, the radios I'm, I'm I'm probably sure they're already pulling the plug on him. But this could be this is this is a strong possibility that this could happen. Very strong. These accusations are not not something that's like hearsay i mean there are people coming out constantly you know every, every time i look around there's something new and stuff that week but he's all over my news feeds and i don't even research him i don't even i don't even look up anything did he nothing but he's all over my news feeds because i, I watch a lot of stuff that has to do with hip-hop and the state of hip hop and the breakfast club and all that stuff. So anything related to kind of like news and stuff like that, if they're talking about him, they throw him on there. So I'm just curious, you guys still playing Diddy? If it goes down that way, 
If it goes left, you guys still playing them? Me personally, I get a little nervous. I mean, I I know we're all a little nervous and stuff to play R. Kelly right now. I get a little nervous. Probably playing uh probably playing some anything Diddy or well, not really Biggie, but more like Diddy. Anything like more money, more problems may have to take a step back. It may have to take a step back. And like, you know, when somebody requests ignition, I'm always it's almost like a cringe now. I don't need, it's almost like second nature cringe. Because it's like I don't think about it. I've already taken that out of my mental repertoire. And so I when it when it does come up, it's kind of like, ooh, it automatically takes me back to the moment that he got evicted and people said I'm banning him, boycotting him. And I'm just like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't. It's almost like WAP all the time, you know, and nobody wants to play WAP at an event because it's so raunchy. But it's it's almost like that type of feeling, that that type of cringe. Well, let me know what you guys think, whether or not you're going to do it. I, I don't know. I think I will probably will pull back and stuff. it'll just be something natural. You know, nobody usually asked me for that. I just kind of put it in the mix because I, I feel like it flows with what I'm doing as far as a set. I mean, the video that I um that I just edited and stuff today, you know, one of the songs, of course, was More Money, More Problems because I was in kind of a 90s. Uh, set and stuff like you know and it just flowed nicely and stuff with that so that just kind of takes him out of rotation i hate to I hate to say it but it kind of does so let me know in the chat and stuff what you guys think and whether or not you would you would be banning this music or just denying or taking it out of your rotations <laughs> 